Hi lovely year signs, welcome to Joy Energy Tarot, I'm Jenny. This is your intuitive guided reading for the week of December the 12th. I hope you enjoy it, if you do please push like and subscribe, if you don't doesn't matter, watch a lovely other, some other lovely reader on YouTube. Okay, I've done all the shuffling to save time and I've also got guided messages here from our lovely Kyle Gray, our Angel Oracle messages for Libra, Aquarius and Gemini. So let's start the reading. My love is limitless. This is from lovely Louise Hay. My love is limitless. One of the bonuses about loving myself is that I get to feel good. So if you love yourself, then you can love others. So it's quite an important message, okay? Now, if you've got a 12 or a 3 in your um, birth chart, you are creative, you're outgoing, you can have scattered um, thoughts because you can have too many projects on the go at once. This goes through to the 18th, so if you've got an 18 or a 9 or a 27 in your chart, you're a humanitarian, that you're very good at endings and good at clearing out clutter. You like things to be, uh, you're quite pedantic, so you like things to be done just right. Right, let's get on with it. What is happening for you guys? Right, you have been wondering where you want to live or what you want to do, going through a bit of a fog, we're going through a bit of a dark patch, just feeling a little bit in the dark about, about things that you're thinking about. Uh, but now you're coming out of the dark into the light. So this is where you're feeling more anchored, you feel more where you want to be, you know a bit more about where you want to be, you've been looking. So this is a six, six is a great, it means you're on the right path, you've got the balance back in your life again. So this is where you may have been overthinking or worrying about things, but you're feeling far more settled now, which is really good because um, right next to it you have got the four of swords. So this is where you're needing a rest, you're needing clarity, by having a rest you'll get the balance back in your thoughts, but I do feel that that six of swords, when you feel that you're a more um, grounded and practical, both of these are air signs too by the way, you're going to feel more settled. I feel that's going to bring about a healing for this. The other message here is whenever you see feathers, know that your angels or your ancestors or your guides are around you. Just looking at all my feathers that I've picked up on my walks over the years, every time I go out I seem to find feathers. Okay, so this is for some of you needing a rest and then when you take that little bit of a rest, you'll get your thoughts back into the balance. Then you go on to the page of swords. So you are learning things. This is about information coming in. Could be something you're, you're wanting to know about. You might have been inquiring about something. But information is coming in that's going to help you learn. And it's really good because you guys can keep your emotions out of things and look at things logically. And I feel that's what you've been doing here. And this is the information that you've been waiting for. So there'll be phone calls, emails, texts, things like that. And it's going to help you learn. And I feel that you will share that information too with others. And right next to it is the Justice card. So that once you know that information, you've got that information, I feel it's going to be a healing for you. You're going to feel a lot more stable and secure. And you could have a contract or legal papers to sign. For others of you, this is the Libran card with the lovely um, scales on here. This is about having that balance. You're getting a balance back into your life. You will get what you deserve. What goes around comes around. So for some of you, though, you have got these legal things or contracts or something like that to sign, okay? And for others of you, you're getting that balance back into your life and you're receiving exactly what you, what you deserve. Then we go on to the Two of Pentacles. So this is where you are rising above things. You're juggling things. You're living in a bit of a balancing act at the moment. And I feel that's what the Six of Swords was about. Like coming out of the dark into the light, you're going to feel more grounded, more anchored. And, and you, then you've got choices and decisions. So at the moment, you're going through that balancing act. You're trying to make up your mind about things. Where do I want to live? What do I want to study? What do I want to learn? Where do I want to spend my money? That's where you're at. And then you've got the Five of Wands. So it's like you're... You're learning from conflict, some of you, or you've got conflict internally and you're trying to work out these, these things and these issues. This is about plotting your next move. That's why it's got the lovely chess set. It's, um, fives are about change, communication, freedom. It's your chance to change things. If you don't like the way things are, now's the time to change them. But I feel that you're learning from everything you've been going through and now you're thinking, how do I want to spend the next, you know, five years maybe? Five months, five weeks, and you're, you're plotting that now. 
You have got the strength, no matter what happens, because of everything that you've been through, all the lessons that you've learned, you are very, very strong. You can cope with anything, okay? So don't underestimate your own value. This can be for some of you too, taming the ego for those that think they're wonderful, or I think they're one, more wonderful than what they are. But it's about taming the ego, but also about gaining the strength from everything that you've learned. That ego thing will only be a very small minority, by the way. It's not you, okay? <laughs> Might be someone you know. <laughs> like this person. There's a person next to you. Now, this is the Queen of Pentacles. So this is someone who's very good with money. They're now starting to reap the rewards from all their hard work. So this is either you guys feeling really good now or someone you can get advice from who is around you who is very good at working out budgets. It can be a, a money person where you go to uh, borrow money as well, like the bank or a mortgage broker. But then covering this whole reading, it's interesting because you've got um, Queen of Pentacles and what else did I say before? Oh, the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles. So you've got all these strong things happening. So the King of Pentacles is exactly, it's even a step up from the Queen of Pentacles. So there could even be a couple around you that you can... Um, that are very happy, um, contented where they're at, they're successful, and you can get advice from them. So you've got the King of Pentacles here. Look at that. Look at the beautiful growth in the garden, the lovely sunflowers. This person is happy, they're contented where they are, and they're seeing the results for all their hard work. Now this can be you guys too. And then you've got the King of Wands. You're in control of your life, or there's a boss person around you. Um, who you can get advice from. This person is powerful, strong, knows what they want. They're getting what they want. They've got the energy. And uh, this can be you as well. So you choose if it's you or somebody around you. But then you've got this little bit of a sad feeling. It's more of a, it's not so much a sad feeling. It's like, ugh, probably because of all these changes and things that you're going through. Sometimes you just feel a bit worn out. This is where you're emotionally flat. And it can be from stress and decisions and things like that, or people are affecting you. This, for, so for some of you, because it's next to the King of Wands, it could be a boss person who's making you feel emotionally flat. So it's up to you to change that. You've got the five here, you can change things. Uh, it's best to speak up if you need to do that. This is a card where you've got your hopes and dreams, and in the past, because you've been let down or you haven't been able to achieve them, it's making you still feel a bit flat. So it's about changing your vibration, lifting your vibration, self-talk, because you've got the golden goose there. In other words, this is saying there's opportunities there. You can't see them. You're not looking. You've got all these good things going for you, but you can't see them when you feel like this. So this is about being grateful. Thank the universe. Thank your angels. Thank everybody for the, for the things that are happening. Be grateful for the little things you've got in your life, okay? Because then you go on to the Three of Pentacles. This is working with other people, waiting to see the results come in. So it could be a community thing, a job, something like that that's uh, working with people that's going to make you feel very happy and very successful. The growth is there. It's coming in. And it's, it's really good. It can be about your money growing as well, especially the money growing. And then you've got the chariot. So this is where you're feeling... Um, successful, you've overcome all sorts of um, awful things that have happened to you, um, all sorts of challenges, this is about overcoming past life karma as well. Now as you can see she's living in her snail but she has got the ammonite on her head, this is a 200 million year old fossil so it's telling you about um, tuning into ancient knowledge, tuning into your ancestral knowledge to um, to be able to use that knowledge, but also overcoming karmic debt that's been handed down to you. Some of you are buying a new car and some of you are going on a trip. Okay, so there we go. That's your weekly reading. And now we move on to advice for Libra. What does Libra need to know this week? Okay, Libra, what do you need to know? Oh, joy and contentment. Great. That's wonderful. So these cards are um, the lovely Kyle Gray, the Angel Oracle cards. You have got joy and contentment. If you find yourself feeling sad or drained, which is actually in the cards, or overwhelmed, know that this is all about to change. 
In order to usher positive energy into your life, your angels are encouraging you to do what makes you feel alive. Whether you're drawn to pursuing a hobby, spending time in nature or with loved ones, or even having a digital detox, you are being guided to make those moves now, Libra. Anything that makes you feel positive, blessed and joyful will support you in magnetizing more of these feelings and, and experiences into your life. Your angels are waiting to shine their light and love on your world. So call on them to bring that love in now, Libra. Okay? So you won't be feeling blip for very long. As long as you recognize it, you can change it. And then you've got the eagle, lovely uh, Stephen Farmer, animal spirits. Do the right thing. Okay? So do the right thing. If you're in a situation, some of you will know, this will relate to you and you'll know what it is. And your angel message is, Take the first step, but begin it right now. Woohoo! I wonder what that is. Only you guys will know that. Right, Aquarius. Aquarius, what have you got this week? Oh, oh dear. You've got no. <laughs> Sorry. So something that you're thinking about, um, something that you guys will know what it is. So Aquarius. Do not make plans, do not move forward. Retreat and reflect. Think deeply. Seek the advice of those you love and trust and ask them to help you to get to the bottom of a question or issue or decision that is before you. Do not make any sudden moves now. This card is coming in to help you sustain your mental, emotional and spiritual energy and stay on the road to wholeness. Okay? So just take that little break that you need at the moment. Rest a little bit before you make that next decision. Might be only for a week, but you need to rest at the moment and make that decision a little bit later. And you have got the animal spirit, dear, be kind to yourself and others. All right? And your angel message is, you are a special person. You do make a difference. We know that, don't we? Lovely Aquarians. Right, Gemini, what have you got? Okay, Gemini. What have you got this week? Spiritual growth. Oh, spiritual growth. Beautiful artwork. Look at that. Actually, the art is by um, Jennifer Haywood. Hawkwood. Hawkyard. Sorry, Jennifer Hawkyard. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. Right, Gemini. Spiritual growth. Every experience is a learning experience. You are a student of life and spirit, and what has happened in your life hasn't happened to you, it's happened for you. You have incredible resilience and the capacity to overcome whatever darkness or unknown that you face. No matter what has been served to you, you've done everything within your might and power to face it and find a way forward. Angels are acknowledging your, your determination and the positive kind-hearted and upbeat energy that has allowed you to become the wonderful person you are today. You may feel that your spiritual gifts are opening much more at this time. Be aware of any visions, psychic insights or connections you develop as they will be pivotal to your growth. Mm, interesting, Gemini. And you've got lizard as your animal spirit. Dream. Okay, so have your dreams. Manifest your dreams and go for it. And your angel message is, focus on your dreams. I love that. Focus on your dreams, Gemini. Allow the power of manifesting to start now. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Okay. So thank you, everyone, for watching. I really appreciate all of you, and I hope you have the most amazing week. So blessings to you all. Ka kiri anō. See you all again. Bye. <laughs> Here we go again, playing up. I don't know, modern technology, it baffles me. Can never get this thing to work. Okay, see you all again. Have a lovely, lovely week. Bye.